we're going to jump right into this tutorial by filling in my eyebrows with a dark brown eyeliner that I purchased from my local beauty supply store. I'm filling it in with my left hand because my left hand is not my dominant hand, my right hand is. So that's the challenge basically. So I'm just filling it in and if you see me giggling and talking, I'm just conversing with my little brother about things while I do my makeup. So now I'm going to carve out my brows and just clean them up a bit using my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC35. And because my mirror is so far away from me, I'm just going to use this small mirror, handheld mirror, to basically get a more accurate application. This was I Like, the video is sped up, but I did definitely spent a lot of time on my brows in this video, a lot. So I'm just actually blending out that concealer with a brush that I bought from AliExpress. And I definitely noticed while I was blending it out that I picked up the wrong concealer. I should have used the one in NC45, which is closer to my skin tone, and it would have made it less difficult to blend out. And then I put the same concealer on my lid and then set it with my Rimmel London Pressed Powder and Sandstorm. And now I'm setting under my brows with my Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in Deep 74 for a nice natural look. Now I'm going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, taking raw senna and burnt orange to create my transition shade. I'm just going to blend that into my crease with the brush that came with the palette. Now using my Morphe R38 brush, I'm taking Buon Fresco from the palette and blending that right below my transition shade and it creates a nice mauve look. Now taking my NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to take that and place it all over my lid and then blend it out with my finger. Now taking my Mario Badescu spray, I'm just going to coat a little of that on my small shader brush and apply Primavera onto my lid in pattern motions without going above into the crease area, almost like you're cutting a crease. I like using these small shader brushes to give this effect. This brush I bought from my local beauty supply store. Now going back in with that R38 brush, I'm not going to take any more product, just blending out any harsh lines to make everything nice and seamless. Now using my Too Faced sketch marker in black. I'm creating a wing, but I'm using a very light hand and using small strokes. Because I notice when I try to do it my regular way and all fast and with a heavy hand, it comes out really messy, especially because I'm not using my dominant hand. Okay, so now it's time for lashes. I'm adding my Almine Remy Lashes in the style number 107 from my local beauty supply store. Man, I can't express enough how irritating it was to put on these lashes. <laughs> now taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Fawn, I'm going to add this under my eye and around my mouth and on the top of my forehead. And this is just to conceal some of my dark spots before applying my foundation. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm applying my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in Deep Honey. And I'm just going to blend in my foundation using my Bare Minerals Precision Face Brush. It's really nice. It's a flat, like a flat top kabuki brush and it blends your foundation in so heavenly. Like, just amazing. I love this brush. So now I'm just going to add my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color 20MN03. I believe that's the color. So yeah, I'm going to add that in the same spots where I added my LA Girl Pro Concealer. So even though it looked effortless, it was very weird using my opposite hand to apply my makeup. It was like difficult. Now using my NYX Conceal Corrects and Contour Palette in Deep, I'm going to use the deepest shade and apply that to my contoured areas that I normally contour. And then I'm going to blend in that contour shade using a Morphe brush. It's a synthetic contour brush. It doesn't have a name because I got it in my monthly subscription, my Morphe, Morphe, Morphe Me subscription, so it has no name. So now I'm just going to use my same foundation brush to blend everything in. This makes sure everything is nice and seamless and has no harsh lines. A really good tip when applying foundation and you're going to contour, like seriously. Now I'm just setting my highlighted areas using my Sasha Buttercup Powder. So now going back into my ABH Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm going to take the color Bon Fresco and apply it to my lower lash line just to smoke it out a bit. So now using my Morphe M551 brush, I'm going to take my Kat Von D powder foundation again and just set the rest of my face, including my under eye. It just makes everything look nice and natural. So now I'm going to drench my face using my Mario Badescu facial spray. It's a bit overkill. Now using my Ruby Kisses All Over Glow Bronzing Powder in Light Glow, I'm just going to apply it with my big fluffy fan brush on my cheekbones and other highlighted areas. So now using my Black Radiance Contour Palette in Light to Medium, I'm going to set my contour using my M528 Morphe brush. So now I'm going to add color to my inner tear duct using my Morphe R41 brush, mixing both colors Vermeer and Primavera from the ABH Renaissance palette. Now adding mascara to my bottom and top lashes, I'm using NYX Faux Lashes Mascara. Now for the lips, I'm going to line them and fill them in with my Jordana Lip Liner in the shade Mulberry. Then 
Then I'm going to apply my Milani lipstick in 65 Matte Glam. Then I'm going to top that off with my CoverGirl lip gloss in the color Pink Delicious. And there you have it, my completed look using my opposite hand only. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Boy, look how it's out of, um, my thing is up. It ain't showing that. Yeah, let me stop. You got that landscape? Period. A-N-S period. No, that's not it. <laughs> At Miss Morton, that's M M, that's M M, and the same as uh, Snapchat at A. <laughs> that's so my screen name. Oh.